Auto produces DIY auto repair videos and tool reviews. Hosted by retired ASC certified master mechanic Victor Sane. And he's a cutie pie too. Okay, as I promised, I'm going to continue to share with you data that I collect on doing cycles on these modules with the T Energy T180. And I found something really interesting that I want to share with you after I show you these results, above and beyond the results, uh, possibly a pattern that I noticed. And I'd like to share that with you at the end of the video. So let me give you the information from the T180, from the three cycles at 3.0 amps. Okay, charger B is hooked to module B, and the last half of the last third cycle, 185 minutes, the capacity was 7,967 mAh. The final voltage reading was 8.79 volts. Now that's not the voltage reading it has right now after sitting overnight. This probably ended about four o'clock in the morning. Both of these were 10.23 a.m. yesterday. I came in this morning at 7.30 and they were already off, but I had calculated the time that they would probably shut off four o'clock in the morning and I did check on them at 10 30 at night and they were charging during the second cycle and they were only about 30 minutes into the charge portion of the second cycle so we had a whole nother third cycle to go and it had been 12 hours so I figure another six hours would make it 18 hours for all three cycles at three amps that's three amps charge and three amps discharge so here if we hit cycle you can see the first the data from the first cycle discharge 7.37 volts at 5374 mah and the discharge because i set it to discharge and then charge on each cycle so I'm, that's why i'm reading from right to left and not left to right 1878 7883 mah the second cycle 7.52 volts, 6,284 mAh, and I am now recording on my log over there, which I'll show you in just a minute, both the voltage and the mAh, because I think there's something significant there. 8.79, 8,085 mAh. So you can see some improvement there already. Oh, there, third page of three. Discharge was 7.55 volts, 6,196 mAh. You can see further improvement there on the discharge mAh. And 8.81 volts, 7,967 mAh. And we're looking at this final voltage here, 8.79 volts. So I'll, I'm going to show you on a meter what that looks like now after they've sat probably since 4 o'clock this morning. Right now I'm recording this at 9.45 so probably five hours of able to rest. So while resting, apparently it dropped from 8.79 volts to 8.25. And something I wanted to show you that I like about these cables that I bought separately from the T-Energy, because they're longer and they have the alligator clips and everything. They fit right in the T-180 like they were made for it. And nice thick wires to them. Look how the rubber right here can just hold your meter pro. And that's very convenient. Now on charger A, which is connected to module D, as in dog, final voltage was 8.82. You can see that's dropped off to 8.26. The final capacity read 8,432 mAh. And you know, I'm not going by that on what I think my capacity is for the module. I prefer to look at the ending capacity of the third cycle of the discharge, because I like to think that what the real capacity of this is, is how many MAH can it discharge? How much, which means if it's discharging, it's returning that voltage to you. So how many MAH can it return to you after the final charge? So even if it takes like 8,000 MAH, during its charge, 
if it can only discharge back to you 5,500 MAH, then its real capacity, and this is just my opinion now, is 5,500 MAH. So let's look at the cycles and see what we got. Oh, before I do that, I forgot to show you here on the other one, the third page of this front set. 17 milliohms that is the resistance on cell uh, module d and over here uh, 15 milliohms is the resistance on module b i think that'll be significant when we get into experimenting with rehydrating cells in a different video so results of cycle one was discharged 7.38 volts and it ended with uh, 4,295 mAh. The first charge cycle ended with 8.79 volts and ended with uh, pushing 9,314 mAh into the module. That seems like a lot. <laughs> I think that is the one of the highest numbers I've seen so far, if not the highest number. Um, two the second cycle discharged ended at 7.51 volts with 5,541 mAh. That's ironic that I was just uh, hypothesizing a 5,500 uh, mAh return on a module, and that's 5,500 right there. Then it charged at the end of that second charge, 8.81 volts with 8,682 mAh. And then the third cycle, the discharge was 7.3 volts and 5,539 mAh. The charge was eight, ended with 8.84 volts, 8,432 mAh. Now it says that the charge on the third cycle ended with 8.84 volts go back and look at this page and does this say 8.84 volts no it actually says 8.82 8.79 8.81 8 8.84 it makes me wonder and if somebody at Tenergy is watching this uh, that helped make the t180 is this voltage right here the 8.82 is that an average of these three voltage readings here these three charge volt voltage readings because it's certainly not um, a direct copy of any one of those three voltage readings and i haven't done the math i guess i could do the math on those three voltage readings to see if the average comes up to 8.82 but i'm just thinking off the top of my head that it's it's not quite 8.82 8 it would be something um, lower than that anyhow Y'all could possibly do the math and let me know in the comment section. Right now, I wanted to show you what you've been waiting for. This possible revelation that I had. Remember, you can both comment in the comments below the video. And you can comment with pictures in your own video clips and stuff on our St. Auto Facebook page. So, what I'm seeing here is, as you would assume, when you have a higher voltage like 8.84 versus 8.81... You have a higher MAH, 8432 versus 7967. And yes, this is this is module D on the last charge of the third cycle. And this is module D on the last charge of the third cycle. So this number does correspond to this number. And so that's not a big revelation. We probably all assumed that the higher voltage had some correlation to the higher MAH, but what I'm wondering once I start looking at this is if you were to take, say, this number and make a percentage of how much difference there is between the 8.81 and 8.84, and then took these two numbers and made a percentage of the difference between the two, would there be a correlation? And as I'm thinking of that in my mind, I'm looking at here and say it's 7.53 versus 7.5. And you see the difference of 5539 to 6196. Um, 
and the 8.79 versus the 8.81. You notice there's only 0.02 difference between here. And you have 8.085 versus 86.82. And then I get down here and I notice there was 7.52 versus 7.51. There's only 0.01 difference here. But 55.41 to 62.84 seems to be maybe a bigger spread than what I saw here. And 8.79 versus 8.78. Again, we have something that's 0.01 difference. And there's quite a bit of difference between 93.14 to 78.83. So this seems like this would have a larger percentage difference than this would without doing the math. Whereas this is a 0.02 difference and this is a 0.01 difference. So if you're better at math than I am and you think you could change all these in percentages and see if there's a pattern there or if it's just there's really no real correlation between the spread on the voltages versus the spread on the MAH, then let me know your thoughts, either in the comments or on the St. Auto Facebook page. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. I don't know. For now, I'm going to set up a couple more modules, and I will, of course, share the results with you. Still waiting for my leads for the other two chargers so that I can do four chargers at a time, and then we'll have lots of data. Lots more shenanigans like this in our hybrid repair playlist. Lots more stuff about the T180 in the hybrid repair playlist as well. In the comments, sometimes I make a video to answer the comment, or I just answer the comment right there in the comment section or both. Hey, if you like this video, we've got a whole lot more. We've got full reviews, we've got repair videos, we've got show car videos, hot rods, mod rods, you name it. If it's got wheels on it and an engine, it's probably on this channel. So subscribe, like, and binge watch, binge watch, binge watch, binge watch, binge watch.